So far, you have used only the standard Python libraries. What's about these additional libraries? First, of course, you have to find the right one. And there is more than 100,000 available libraries in the Python universe. When you have installed Python at the very beginning, only these standard libraries were installed. So again, where can you find these additional libraries? And how can you install them later on? Of course, one, word, one possibility is always to Google. If you have a certain problem, you for example would like to do things with World Wide Web and Python, then maybe you simply start Googling for Python Library World Wide Web. An alternative would be to directly jump into this Python package index, the PyP org server. Here most of the libraries are collected and can be downloaded from there. To install actually the library, you have to use this pip command. Maybe you remember, in week zero, you already used this pip command to install Jupyter Notebooks. It's showtime. Let's have a brief look into our notebook. Actually, the notebook for this unit is quite small. We simply would like to provide a few links to other sources where you can find libraries. There is recommendations like the 20 greatest Python libraries or the 30 best Python libraries you have to know. Google and try to find maybe other lists of recommended Python libraries. However, we would like to dig into this um, Python package index and later on I will show using the pip command how libraries can be installed. Let's first have a look on those Python package, uh, Python package index. That's the landing page and what you can see is there is more than 300,000 projects. Maybe not each pro project has developed a library of its own, but yes, that's the number we are talking about. You could browse for these projects. So if you use if you're searching for a certain topic, you could go in here and you see, for example, if you would like to program something with communication, email, conferencing, then you can simply click on those ones. If you prefer, on the other hand, something to, to, to do something with the internet or with games, then this might be the right option. However, you could, if you have a certain topic already, like, for example, Word Cloud. Yeah, if you're looking for Word Cloud uh, libraries, then you actually just type it in and you now see there is quite some. Now you could go now into those uh, and check what information is available. And actually you will find already here how to install it. If you use a standard configuration which uses pip, then you have simply to type pip install Word Cloud. Now I have opened my command shell. You could use your power shell as well. If you use an Apple computer, you open up a terminal. And here you have already used this pip command. And let's go a little bit into the details. pip help. Yeah? You can use lots of different commands together with pip. So far you have used pip install. However, there is other options like, like inst uh, uninstall, config, index, list, and so on and so on. So let's first check if maybe this uh, word cloud library is already available. If I type in pip list, I'll get a list of all Python libraries which are currently installed on my computer. You see the name of the library on the left and you see the version number on the right. And I have chosen word cloud because it's from an alphabetic point of view at the very end. So it should be somewhere here. It's not. So let's give it a try. pip install word cloud. Now our computer checks if this is available. And as this library is quite small, it really just took a few seconds to install it. However, if you would like to install big libraries, like for example pandas, 
then it can take some minutes to download everything. Again, let's have a look on our list, pip list. You see now Word, Word Cloud is available in the version 1.8.1. That's what we have seen on this PyP server as well. And we can have a closer look. Pip show Word Cloud. And you see, you will get some additional information. Yeah, it's Word Cloud, it's a, it is a version, it's a sm small summary, what it is all about. Um, actually, some more libraries are required, which are, have been installed already. Otherwise, um, installing Word Cloud, these libraries would have been installed in addition. So what have you learned? There's lots of non-standard libraries. Most of them you could find, for example, using this pyp.org server or just Google. And if you have found it, then you still have to install it using pip.